When you live in an apartment or you're renting, you have to build out a modern home a little differently. And that's why today I'm going to show you a number of products that are both safe and fantastic for that rental situation. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of the rental automation experience here. And this comes from the fact that I moved from a acreage where I had zero neighbors to a rental situation where I had a ton of neighbors and that changed some things in my life. And actually it didn't change how much I was expanding my smart home. It just changed some of these interference issues that we all run into. See, on the acreage, I had zero Wi-Fi interference. I could almost barely find Wi-Fi signals from other individuals or other households because we we're so far apart. But here, I have just a ton of different Wi-Fi networks that I can see coming into my home. And one of the things that I think you want to look for in a Wi-Fi solution as a result of that is that it can adjust channels for you and that it does it automatically. And that's one of the reasons that I use Nest Wi-Fi in this situation. And there are other solutions out there that you can look up, but make sure they adjust that channel. And one of the things I never had to worry about out at that acreage was that Wi-Fi interference would affect my Zigbee. And Zigbee is a big scary word that many of you won't want to understand necessarily, but it's a technology being used on smart home hubs. So one of the really important things that I found once I got into this rental situation was that I needed to be able to adjust the Zigbee channel as well because it uses that 2.4 gigahertz frequency that the Wi-Fi uses as well. So it can actually become a problem for you. Now in many cases the channel 25 that's used by almost every hub that I've seen is okay but there there will be a situation or two out there where you have to adjust that and have to look at what frequency you're using. So it's really beneficial to have hubs like Philips Hue or Hubitat that allow you to adjust that Zigbee channel. Now for most of you, you're not going to be changing out light switches and I understand that. Now there's a couple of options, especially if you think about Philips Hue and the Lutron cover piece. Now you have to have the right type of switch here but you can actually go and install that over and it gives you a dial in order to adjust your Philips Hue lighting. Now if you don't like the expense of Philips Hue lighting I understand but there are actually a number of different Zigbee and Z-Wave bulbs that will attach to your smart home hubs and that's a better solution for many of these rental situations especially when combined with Lutron's little dial. As I was tearing down everything out of my acreage and bringing it over to this new place, I found that the 3M tapes on the back of many of the sensors or many of the smart devices that you'll have, plus the introduction of putting holes in the walls with screws and different fasteners, that was a really painful experience and you definitely don't want to be doing that. What I've actually found is this clear dual sided tape that is so effective and you actually have to use such minor amounts and this helps you to not actually rip the paint or anything off of the walls when you go to take them down. And what that will allow is for you to go and put up all of the different Zigbee and Z-Wave sensors that you have attached to those smart home hubs without any issues as you go and leave. It's always generally difficult to automate with cameras inside or outside of an apartment. And there's a couple of versions of cameras that I found really effective. Now, my personal favorite in side of an apartment was actually the Samsung SmartThings Vision. This is going to be a very hard camera for you to find, especially with SmartThings kind of pulling out of the hardware market. But if you can find one of these, it's great for a privacy centered approach because it's going to allow you and your roommates or your apartment mates to not be so concerned about what footage is being taken all the time. Plus, you're going to have the ability with the Blink system. So if you're a little less worried about that, well, Blink is a great option that you can basically use that tape, especially because it will sit flush to the walls, 
it's going to sit fairly well and you're going to be able to use some of that dual sided tape in most situations. Now, look at your own mounting situation. I'm just telling you that it's not that heavy and it will probably fit. And one other option for you is the Wisecam Outdoor. And I didn't personally love this camera myself, but what happens with it is because it's battery powered, you can pretty much take it anywhere and pretty much mount it anywhere. And I did use that dual sided tape again as my own test. Now, what I will tell you is in a really windy situation, it's going to take a tumble and mine did. So you need to think about where you're mounting it, how you're mounting it, but in general, you can use that one as well because it's battery powered. Now, many of you have a peephole and this will take a little bit of conversation with your building manager, but I think most of you are going to be able to do this it goes over or replaces the existing peephole in your door. And I think this is a really useful way to monitor just outside your door and not have any of those other cameras. Now, the Amazon door view cam is really powerful. It's been getting better and better ratings too, as Amazon has slightly refined the product over time. Now, when it comes to triggering other types of devices, obviously a smart plug is going to be really useful. It's just a plug-in thing. So, I mean, I'm not gonna talk to you about those, but when it comes to other things like appliances, or you wanna deal with light switches directly, or you wanna deal with things like a garage door, well, this is where I find the SwitchBot system system becomes so powerful and you can attach these with again a little bit of that tape and then just have them actually push a button on a garage door opener so if you have a garage you can automate that and get it to trigger remotely and I even have examples of people using those to press the little remote buttons as well now the other thing I use it is for the coffee pot and so maybe you have a coffee pot there that does have a physical press button you can go ahead and use it there they also sell a humidifier and this is a great option for an automatic humidifier to manage the humidity in a room and they have their little meters that allow you to measure both the temperature and the humidity and you can set automated triggers based on those things for things like a humidifier now Obviously, you're going to have a little bit of issues controlling things like AC or heaters or the thermostat in general if they don't have an automatic thermostat, but something like a little space heater that has an IR remote with it or an AC unit for an apartment with an IR remote, both of those can actually be controlled by the SwitchBot hub. And this is where I find their whole system so powerful for apartments. You can program in the ability to control devices like that based on those little meters. In this place, I actually share a wall with my neighbor and he's right behind me right now. And so I can hear him really easily and he can hear me. Now that means if I wanted to frustrate him, I could go out and buy a big Google Home Max or an Echo Studio. But instead, what I recommend you do is buy some of the smaller level speakers. And I think the $100 speakers are kind of that exact right price point right now. So you look at the Amazon Echo, the fourth generation, or even the third generation that you can get a little bit cheaper. Or you look at the new Nest Audio. And my favorite in terms of sound quality is that Nest Audio. And when you're kind of at this level, you can use them in a group and not put any of them too loud or blowing away your neighbor. And so you don't have to have that sound war, but still have a great audio experience. Now, if you go out and you buy a Nest Audio speaker or a couple of those Nest Audio speakers, then the Nest Hub Max is the top smart display in the market. This interface is a great focal point and can be set in a lot of different locations. That's my preferred one, but if you're going to go with the Amazon route, well then go buy an Echo Show 8. Either of those smart displays are absolutely going to do great things for you to control those music groups and to get a ton of information. Now, one of the things my landlord said to me was that I couldn't change the lock and I mean, 
That's not a no for me. That's just a no as long as you don't know for me. So don't tell my landlord, but I changed the lock in this place. And there was only really one good option at the time when I was looking at this, and that's actually the wise lock. Now, this is a really interesting solution, and there are a few more out there, but what it does is it actually changes the lock on the inside of the door, and you're not changing any of the internals. Your entire action outside of the home is to tape the existing thing against it when you're making this adjustment and otherwise it's totally inside your home so you can get that remote control capability it works great with Amazon Echo to unlock and lock and will eventually work with Google we just don't know when one of the other great things about the wise lock is the fact that you can get that little keypad now I actually just taped it in my garage and this allows me to enter my place through my garage automatically with SwitchBot and then through my garage door automatically with Wise or with Amazon's voice assistant or with that little keypad. So you have a lot of great options there, but one of the things that you're probably going to need now is the in-depth reviews of these products because some of them will be amazing for your situation some of them won't be so that's one of the great things about YouTube is I created a playlist that you can go watch right now that will walk you through a number of the products that we talked about today so thanks for watching everyone go check out that playlist and of course don't hate automate